Hey everybody, so for tonight's video I'm going to show you how to edit the surface texture of a 3D model. Now in the past I've shown you how to do this before by importing it into Z, the model into ZBrush and repainting the model. Well tonight I'm going to show you a much more direct way. We're going to go in and edit the, uh, the UV map of a particular model. Um, it's just actually a, uh, a JPEG or a bitmap image and you're, we're going to edit it using uh, GIMP, um, though you could do the same with Photoshop. So uh, should be a lot of fun, shouldn't take too long. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Poser. Now we could do the same thing in Daz Studio, but um, I like to use Poser mostly because I'm used to it and also it tends to play a lot nicer with my uh, screen capture, uh, video capture uh, software. But like I said, everything I do here, um, there's an equivalent for uh, you that you can do in Daz Studio. Okay, so now what we're going to try to do is turn this guy into a white dragon. Now I've loaded up the uh, the Daz sub dragon here and uh, applied his default texture, and I've just given him a quick pose just to make it look a little bit more interesting. So what we're going to do, the first step is to find this texture file. So to do that, I'm going to go to the Materials tab and um, select the uh, we'll just pick the the skin body. Now this is kind of a, the dragon has some pretty complex textures here, but what we're really interested in here is the diffuse color. And we see that there's an image source for this called body color. Uh, now what we want to do is find that, and at least in, uh, in Poser you find it by just clicking on this thing here and you'll see the path to that file. Now you'll see here we have a whole bunch of other files loaded for this sub dragon. Um, the ones I'm most, I'm not really concerned about the eye colors and stuff, but I am going to be concerned about the wing color the body color, and the head color. What I'm going to do is find those in uh, my um, Windows Explorer, in this case. Uh, if you're using a Mac, it, you, you might use Finder for that. And then I'm going to load these up in GIMP. Okay, so here we are in GIMP. And you see I've loaded those three files. And now we're going to just simply turn this into a uh, white dragon. So to do that, first thing I'm going to do is go to Color. Um, and so I'm going to select desaturate here or you could um, if you're maybe doing this in Photoshop there's probably similar functionality you can always find whatever the uh, saturation control is so here we have the saturation control and I just turn the saturation all the way down and that gives me a black and white image now the other thing I'm going to do is just go into the brightness and move it all the way up I'm going to do the same thing for these other two files here. So colors, I'll just I do desaturate, brightness and contrast, turn that all the way up. And the same thing for the wings. Uh, brightness and contrast, and turn that all the way up. Now I'm not going to just save directly over these files, I'm going to save them as a new file. Uh, in GIMP you do that doing a file export as and we'll just call it my white wings and let's do the same thing for the head file And finally, the body. Okay, so now we I've gone back to uh, Poser here, and what I'm just going to do is uh, change the uh, body color. I'm going to click Browse, select my white body, and click OK and you'll see its body snapped to white. We're going to do that for the other uh, things that we edited. So we have the um, I believe skin jaw. It's using our head color file, so we're going to change that to the my white head file. Click OK. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Skin, un so we did skin body, underbelly.
and let's see the wings top and bottom oh and the skin face as well so this this one has a lot of textures to change sometimes if you're using a different model this might be a bit easier And we have the skin face as well. All right, so now I can go back to the pose control. And you see here we've got us a white dragon. Now he looks a little bit um, smooth. And that's because I haven't rendered him. This is just the preview. Now if I render it, the bump map is going to take over and give him a bit of texture. So let's do that real quick. And you can see he's got a little bit more texture in here. We might want to bump it up just a tiny bit. I know it's pretty good. So let's go and do that back in the materials. Select the skin body. And find the bump here. It's 0 0.004. Let's increase that to 0 0.02. So a pretty big increase. And we'll try rendering that again. See if it stands out a bit better. I think I like that a bit better. You see a little bit more of the scale texture in his arms and on his body. Now you probably want to change the eye color and the horn color as well. So, and just like that, I've created a white dragon. So I uh, hope this was a nice uh, quick tutorial for you. Um, might, hopefully it'll help you out some. Shows you how to do some uh, editing of the UV files manually, which is not the, uh, the most fun way of doing it, but it's certainly fast and pretty efficient. So I hope everybody enjoyed this. Thank you and good night.